Alright, this video gives a little basic intro to uh, what it is we're going to be doing in this last section um, of the course. So we're talking about the basics of correlation. Alright, correlation uh, is uh, a relationship between two variables when the values are somehow associated with one another. It doesn't have to be linear, which is what we're going to be talking about here, but basically like we got two um, two data sets going on at the same time and if we plot both of those data sets on the same set of axes we see some type of a pattern that's basically what we're talking about here we're talking about correlation alright again we're going to be dealing mainly with linear uh, and our linear correlation coefficient r uh, is a measure of of the strength of that relationship between the x and the y pairs alright so um, r is our uh, variable we use to name that uh, that value that measures the number between negative one and positive one we'll go into detail a little bit more later alright this is um, what these uh, what we call scatter plots look like so the x value might represent something the y value represents something else so let's just say the x value here represents uh, shoe size right? and the y value represents heights alright so what this is suggesting is shoe size gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Remember the x-axis gets bigger as you move from left to right. As these uh, shoe sizes are going up, heights are also going up. Okay, So that's what we mean here when we say there seems to be a linear correlation between uh, shoe sizes and heights. All right, so if that's the case then we'll have a positive value of r. All right, As x goes up, if that uh, insinuates that y is going to go up then that means your r value or your correlation coefficient is positive All right, but if um, r is negative that means as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger then y actually is going down All right? these y values the heights uh, started out really high and as x moved to the right these y values start to go down the heights of the dots above the x-axis go down further and further and further. All right, and this might be something like um, uh, hours spent playing video games, like your x-axis, right? And your y-axis would be test scores. Okay, so if I didn't spend a whole lot of time playing video games, my test score may be high. And if I spent a whole lot of time playing video games, like you know, 50 hours in a week or something. Now I don't spend any time studying for my tests and my test scores are low. All right. So negative correlation just means that y and x change in opposite directions. As x gets bigger, y gets smaller. As x gets smaller, y gets bigger. All right. Positive just means that they change at the same um, uh, in the same direction. When x gets bigger, so does y. When x gets smaller, so does y. All right. Uh, in this particular scatter plot. There just seems to be no correlation. R is uh, zero here between X and Y. Uh, sometimes when X is small, Y is large. Sometimes when X is small, Y is small. Sometimes when X is big, Y is big. Sometimes when X is big, Y is small. All right, so there just seems to be no pattern at all, and especially no linear pattern. So when um, there's no linear pattern present, R is going to be close to zero. Okay. Now remember, negative numbers does not mean no correlation. Right? This is a really tight linear pattern. It just means that the correlation is in opposite directions. Right? This is what it looks like when there's no correlation. R is closer to zero. Right? So negative does not mean bad. It just means opposite directions. All right. This particular one. Uh, has an R value close to zero, negative point zero eight seven, but that does not mean that there's no pattern here. All right, obviously there's a pattern here with this data. All right, it's just that there's no linear pattern. All right, a line can't bend like this is bending. So just because R is close to zero, like it was in the last example, doesn't necessarily mean there's no correlation. There's just no linear correlation present. All right, requirements for you to be able to compute R value. Um, the, your XY pairs uh, needs to be obtained from a simple random sample. All right, it has to be numeric data. 
and you have to just glance at, at your scatter plot. You gotta glance at these things we've been looking at and see some type of a linear pattern here. And um, if that's the case, uh, then then you can run a linear regression or a computer correlation coefficient. All right. Um, if you have outliers, none of the the pictures we've seen yet have had outliers. But let's just say that, like in this data set here, there would have been a point way down here or something, or in this data set, if there had been a point way up here, that's those type of uh, dots would be sticking out like a sore thumb when we plotted it, and that would mean that we probably made an error when we collected that data. So that's what this third thing's saying. Remove outliers if they're known to be errors. All right, outliers greatly affect the value of R. All right, now. This looks big and ugly and scary, but I just want you to understand we're not going to compute this by hand. We're going to compute it um, uh, with a calculator just about every time we do it. All right. Um, table A5 is this table that's in your book. Uh, it's in the little fold out thing. It's also online. But you can download it, and it'll uh, show you um, basically it's like cutoffs for different sample sizes. If your sample size is uh, 15 versus 20 versus 30, how big R needs to be for us to say that there is a linear relationship there. Okay. Um, we're not going to use this p-value method. We're just going to use the table and the R method. Alright. Um, the methods we're talking about is just strictly linear. All right. We're not going to talk about anything in this book about the curved regression or uh, you know fitting a, a data or uh, fitting any other type of a, a, a graph of data other than a line so it's all going to be linear right, and that's what R that's what we measure with R okay it's definitely possible to, to do regression and other than a line but that's not what we're going to do in this class all right um, we're going to round to three only because that's what the the uh, table in a5 that we're going to measure our critical correlation values to. Alright, and definitely use a computer or a calculator. We're definitely, definitely, definitely going to use a calculator because it just would take so much time to compute R. Alright, there's the properties we talked about. The main one, it's got to be between negative 1 and positive 1. Alright, the closer it is to negative 1, the stronger the correlation in that negative direction, meaning the left and right. I mean, uh, sorry, X getting bigger y gets smaller when we're in the closer we are to negative one All right positive one is is um, perfectly strong correlation in the positive sense it means x gets bigger y gets bigger too and then right in the middle there is zero and that's what you don't want to see stuff close to zero with your r value um, another thing that happens with r is if all your values of either variable are converted to a different scale, meaning you uh, divide all the numbers to make a percent, or if you uh, div if you change your if like your x axis was measured in degrees Fahrenheit and you changed it to degrees Celsius, it wouldn't change the value of R. All right, if if all your um, y values like we were talking about before were height, if we originally did it in feet with decimals and then changed it to feet and inches or just inches again it wouldn't change the value of R and R is not affected by which way who, who's X and who's Y if we would pick uh, X to be shoe size and Y to be height or if we switched it up and picked Y to be shoe size and X to be height it wouldn't change um, the R value would be the same no matter which one we picked for the axis Alright, and then R is just a measure strength of linear relationship. That's what you got to remember. It's linear. It's not any other type of a relationship. Very sensitive to outliers. Alright, one outlier removed can change your R value from close to zero to close to one. And that's all it takes is just a single outlier to go from absolutely no relationship to almost perfectly linear relationship.